So when you think about your company's innovative pursuits, what has been the driving force behind overcoming challenges along the way? So the dominant driving force has been our knowledge of the science behind the food preservation methods. Uh, the science has been established for decades and our role in this process was to develop or identify and integrate technologies that would bring that known science to actual commercial production. And I believe we've been very successful in, in that mission. Thomas Edison believed that innovation begins with a concept that is marketable and makes consumers' lives better. How did your organization go from an idea to a market-ready solution? Well, it was, um, it was quite incremental. Uh, our general mission is to provide uh, uh, better, more nutritious, more flavorful food products uh, to the general population. But uh, recently we have moved away from actual food production to developing and distributing technologies to enable that. So the benefit to the consumer is, is relatively easy to identify. If you look at the dominant uh, market segment in let's say a supermarket, it's hundreds of varieties of canned soups which all look different but all taste pretty much the same. And that's overcooked, too salty, too greasy, uh, very little flavor, very little remaining nutrients. Our mission was to address that so that it's much closer to freshly prepared, more nutritious, more valuable products. What might you have changed in the product along the way, looking back? Well, uh, what I personally would have changed is the value we put on our early adopters. Uh, it is very, it, it has shown to be very, very beneficial to work very closely with early adopters because they end up being your, your co-developers, your co-inventors, and, and end up supporting you on this, this difficult uphill path of making uh, basically a, uh, an idea, a concept, into a broadly accepted uh, commercial product. That's what I would have done, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what is the most important lesson you've learned from your pursuits and how do you try to pass that along? The most important lesson um, is that adversity, stress, constant challenges are good. They're good for your technology, they're good for your company, they're good generally for, for commerce in general. So in overcoming, continuously overcoming uh, those things, your technology, your products become uh, continuously evolving, continuously improving, and you should never, ever uh, settle never say, well, this is the final version of what we're going to do. It needs to be a con not just uh, physically, not just technologically, but mentally and emotionally mm -hmm. a continuous process. And being a, a full-time professor at a university, I have many, many lucky opportunities to, to try to convey that to students and young people. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, what is the vision for your company in the future and can you share anything that you're working on? Um, well the, the vision is, is very modest. Uh, we want to revolutionize the food industry and, and, and conquer the world. That's, that's what we're after at this point. Uh, currently uh, our company has successfully addressed the issues of uh, thermal sterilization and uh, this year the reason we're here is development of a system for validation of safety of uh, such advanced products. Uh, in the next stage, and currently, we are looking at the cooling end of, uh, meaning continuous flow cooling technologies to integrate with, with our other pieces of the puzzle in there. Uh, who has been inspirational to you, and what have you learned from them? So actually, this was the most difficult uh, question to address, but it, it's, uh, for our company, it's probably um, uh, relatively easy to, to answer. Uh, the inspiration came from, from basically two ends of the scale. 
Uh, one was from our uh, co-founder, uh, Professor Ken Swartzel, who early on, even before we started any kind of uh, commercial uh, ventures, established an approach to look at the big picture of the, the uh, food processing industries and established actually the science where we continue to build on. Uh, and from the other end, it has been one of our former students uh, who is one of the employees with the company now who has shown us, his name is Dr. Pablo Coronel, and he has demonstrated an extraordinary talent in addressing individual hurdles, individual technical issues by, by a combination of uh, uh, solid scientific educational and professional background and very, very practical, hands-on approach to, to solving these incremental hurdles we encountered. And finally, the Edison Awards recognizes the most innovative products, services, and teams from around the world and across all markets. What does winning an Edison Award mean to you and to Acepcio? It has meant a, a, a really, really great deal for us. Um, by nature, we're, we're kind of lab rats, mm -hmm. and, and we uh, live in the dark and, and you know, struggle with very, very narrowly defined, focused issues and kind of getting closed in this closed uh, uh, culture and environment. Uh, the Edison Awards have, uh, beyond what it meant for us, it has opened our eyes to uh, this broad world of innovation and, 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 and how exciting it is to exchange these ideas and to mo promote these ideas and to feed off of uh, the enthusiasm of other similar groups. Um, I, I would think that was the most significant uh, impact we've seen.